So first I'm going to make sure to prime my lid so that my makeup can last all night long. Using my Wet n Wild Jumbo Cream Eyeshadow Pencil in black, I'm going to apply this all over my lids and smudge it out with a clean finger. But don't worry about it not being perfect because you're going to blend it out in the end anyway. take a flat eyeshadow brush and using ELF's 100 color palette I'm gonna take this nice black matte color I know it looks gray but it's the lighting and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid next I'm gonna take this other black color with pretty sparkles in it and apply this right on top of the other black eyeshadow Next I'm going to take this C-shaped eyeshadow brush and using this nice silvery color I'm going to apply this from the inner corner of my eye to the center of my eyelid. I'm going to take a blending brush and blend out all the colors so that there are no harsh edges using windshield wiper motions. I'm going to take this brown color and apply this above the black and blend the two colors together so that there are no harsh lines. Using this angled highlighting eye brush, I'm going to take this nice white creamy color to highlight my brow bone. Using a smudge brush, I'm going to use the same silver color I used before and apply this on my lower lash line starting from the inner corner to the center. Using the same matte black color from before, I'm going to apply this on the center of my lower lash line to the outer corner of my eye. Now using my favorite eyeliner by L'Oreal, I'm going to tight line my eye as well as apply this on my waterline. Now it's time to define the brows. Using this angled brush, I'm going to take this light brown color to fill in my eyebrows and it's always good to use a shade lighter than your eyebrow color so it doesn't look weird and dark if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to take this eyebrow gel and apply this on my brows to set the hairs in place. Now it's time to curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Using a flat blush brush, I'm going to take Milani's multicolored blush in copper sunshine and apply this to my cheekbones. I'm going to moisturize my lips with Nivea's Hydrating Lip Care with SPF 4 for applying lipstick. Now I'm going to apply my favorite nude lipstick by L'Oreal in Ferris Nude. Lastly, I'm going to top it off with this nice pink lipstick by e.l.f. called Ballet Slippers. And voila! Your makeup is finally done and ready to go. Hey guys, so here's my outfit of the day that I wore to go along with my makeup. I'm wearing a white blazer from Strawberry, a black and white striped top with pretty pink florals on it from Charlotte Russe, and uh, just a regular black tank top underneath it. And for my pants, I'm wearing these leather high-waisted pants from H&M. And for my accessories, I'm wearing these gold hoops from Forever 21, this leopard print necklace that my friend actually got me for my birthday from Betsy Johnson, and this nice bag from H&M that was only $10, and this ring from Forever 21, and this bracelet that I got from the Marc Jacobs Special Items Store here in New York, and these heels I got from my cousin actually 
they're 9 West and they're super comfortable and they're probably the only heels that I can walk in all day. So yeah, that's all for my outfit of the day guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!